Between any two integers, there are only a finite number of integers. For example, between 1 and 4, there are only two integers. But there's a catch. Let's say we need three integers between one and another integer. Then ideally, the other integer should be at least 5. Or the difference between the other integer and 1 should be at least 4, which is 1 more than 3. If we were to generalize this, we can say that in order to have n integers between any two integers, the difference between those integers should be n plus 1. Between any two rational numbers, on the other hand, there is an infinite number of rational numbers. But how does the fact about integers help us here? Let's take 1 by 5 and 1 by 3 for example. Now all rational numbers have multiple equivalent forms. So we can convert both 1 by 5 and 1 by 3 into what we call like fractions. To do this, we need the LCM of their denominators, which is 15. After calculating the LCM, we'll convert the two rational numbers into their equivalent forms. Therefore, 1 by 5 becomes 3 by 15 and 1 by 3 becomes 5 by 15. Why should we do this, you ask? Let's see. Look at the numerators here. We have 3 and 5. Since both fractions are now like fractions, the question can be modified to find an integer between 3 and 5 and that integer is 4. So the rational number between 3 and 15 and 5 and 15 is 4 by 15 and therefore we can say that one rational number between 1 by 5 and 1 by 3 is 4 by 15. Now let's say we want to find three rational numbers between 1 by 5 and 1 by 3. How will we do this exactly when there is only one integer between 3 and 5? Remember that in order to find n integers between any two integers, the difference between them has to be at least n plus 1. So, if we want to find three integers between any two integers, then the difference between those two integers should be at least 4. But the difference between the numerators of the equivalent fractions we just obtained is 2. Remember, these fractions are equivalent to the rational numbers in question. What if we multiply the integers 3 and 5 by 4? 3 times 4 is 12 and 5 times 4 is 20. Now, the difference between 12 and 20 is 8. So, we can easily find 3 integers between them. But, because we are multiplying the numerators of both the rational numbers by 4, we should also multiply the denominators by 4 to make them equivalent. So, 3 by 15 becomes 12 by 60 and 5 by 15 becomes 20 by 60. Now, between 12 by 60 and 20 by 60, there are 7 rational numbers and they are 13 by 60, 14 by 60, 15 by 60, 16 by 60, 17 by 60, 18 by 60 and 19 by 60. We were looking for just 3 and we found 7. Isn't that awesome? So, we can say that the 3 rational numbers between 1 by 5 and 1 by 3 are 13 by 60, 14 by 60 or 7 by 30 and 15 by 60 which is 1 by 4. And this is just one way of obtaining a few rational numbers between any two rational numbers. We'll learn more later. Bye!